So hopefully in your time walking through the link or links and in the conversations you had, you found some gems in there to, uh, to take a look at. What we're going to do is I'm the nice one and I'm going to let you leave early. Uh, but I do have to talk to you a little bit about your homework. So I'm kind of the good and the bad guy all at one time. So I'm just going to go off the Google Doc. So at the bottom, and it has your homework for the next section. So another two exciting videos on the Mac website for you to take a look at. And then create, revise, edit at least one performance task um, by the next time we meet, which is at the end of April. So what? let me translate that for you. If that means that you're in a space of, I found a, a pretty good activity that I could use in my classroom to kind of scaffold my kids to being able to do one of those big nasty performance tasks that we looked at today, that would qualify. Uh, but if you're at the spot where, you know, we had asked you earlier to talk about how you're using performance tasks, if you already are, and so maybe you're ready for that next step and ready to make one of those big ugly performance tasks all on your own, then you can do that too. So know that there's a continuum there and wherever you feel like you find yourself, have something ready to go by the next time that we meet because Mark will walk you through or someone will walk you through that journeying process again where you can share your ideas around a performance task item. But one other thing I want to highlight before I let you go um, is we talked a little bit about the rubrics the last, last session and someone even mentioned it today about making, you know, giving our kids the rubrics so that the expectations are clear for them. But being that we're slightly lazy folks at the ISD, uh, we've provided two links up there, literacy rubrics. Mark really likes the top one better than the second one, but don't create your own if you don't have to. Uh, utilize those that are up there to help you if, if you're in a space of creating something where you're going to have a rubric attached to it. Okay? Any questions? All right, well, thank you again for your time and attention today, and we'll see some of you guys in a couple of weeks.